Hi friends, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vivek, and I am from India. Your host, and you are watching Data Sports channel regarding uh, we provide services and we provide information regarding travels. So, if if you are looking for a trip for a recent trip to Agra from uh, Delhi and you want to visit Taj Mahal or Agra Fort, then it's the right channel uh, you have come across, and uh, you can hire our services for Agra. We provide taxi services, car rental services from Delhi to Agra uh, for Taj Mahal and Agra Fort. So, uh, if suppose you have come across this blog, then today I will just uh, tell you that how much time it takes from uh, Delhi to Agra, how much time, how much kilometer is roughly uh, two thirty to forty kilometers one side, and it takes about three and a half hours to reach Agra Taj Mahal parking. Uh, now, uh, if if suppose you, you are just having a look at the Google Google Map, they will show you near about two two and a half hours, but practically on road it's not possible because uh, the car. Just goes at about 80 or 90 kilometers per hour. Most of the time, it is at 80 kilometer per hour, which is the speed limit is 100. But uh, for commercial taxis, it's mostly 80. And uh, during the highway, also there are three uh, spots for uh, refreshment, and then uh, you can just stop and take refreshment. Like you can go for wash, you can use the washroom, you can use the toilets, and you want you can have tea breaks and uh, some snacks or some light breakfast you want you can do on, on the way to Agra. Uh, this uh, everybody goes through express highways from Yamuna Express Highway, and it has three tolls, main tolls. And after every toll, you will uh, get a refreshment point. So you can decide you want to stop at which for the first one, second one, third one. If you are from, uh, if you like burgers or uh, snacks or uh, something like fast food types, uh, a good a good variety of fast food, then you can stop at the second toll. After crossing second toll, uh, just uh, drive for four or five kilometers, then uh, you will see refreshment point, and you can stop over there and have a good breakfast or snacks. Then uh, uh, it takes about three and a half hours. Uh, distance is two thirty to forty kilometers. Then uh, you can go and reach there. So it takes three and a half hours to reach uh, this Taj Mahal parking. Uh, from there, you need to uh, you can take a, uh, you can either go by walking. Is walking distance in every three to four hundred meters from Taj Mahal parking till Taj Mahal entrance. At this section, no cars are allowed. Only a government authorized e-rickshaws, battery rickshaws, or uh, you can go by a uh, bullet cart uh, means are also here. So you can enjoy or you can take a camel ride also. So just nominal charges like ten rupees, twenty rupees per person. So, uh, at once you reach this uh, Taj Mahal, uh, this uh, ticket counter from there, you need to purchase the tickets for uh, international clients. You can just have a look at the tickets. I think it's about six hundred, seven hundred rupees per person. If you if you are not an Indian, then the ticket price is six hundred to seven hundred rupees, near about something like that. Then you enter Taj Mahal. You take the whole. You you can you can take your own cameras. You can take water bottles with you, mobile phones with you, your cameras. All the stuff, but you you can't take chocolates, you can't take uh, the cigarettes, lighters, or you can't take food inside Taj Mahal. If you have if you have a small baby, small, small infant, then you can take uh, their milk or some food for the small infants. You can take inside Taj Mahal. But if suppose uh, you are having your own lunch box, you can't take water bottles, mobile phones, camera. You can take inside. Take multiple pictures, whatever you want to do. And uh, take, I think uh, another uh, two hours, maximum two hours are sufficient for uh, taking pictures and uh, just having a sightseeing of this Taj Mahal. Once it is done, you come outside, again sit in the cab, which is uh, waiting you at the parking. Parking is uh, parking cost for per car is near about one hundred to one twenty rupees per car for the means uh, uh, three or four hours. Then uh, after visiting Taj Mahal, customers normally go for a lunch break. So there are multiple restaurants, Chinese. Indian, any any type of food you want, you have multiple uh, restaurants in uh, Agra, because a lot of foreign clients are coming here. Then after doing lunch, you you are having a lunch. Then you go for uh, if you want, you can go to Agra Fort. Agra Fort is just uh, about within a radius of two kilometers from Taj Mahal. Agra Fort, uh, there is a light show in the evening, and entry ticket is near about four hundred to five hundred rupees for a foreigner international clients. Then again for Agra Fort also it takes about one and a half hours. You can just have a visit. Then after that you come back. Then most of the clients, if you if you are not going for Fatehpur Sikri, Fatehpur Sikri is just about uh, roughly forty forty five kilometers from Agra, means towards Jaipur Road. So Fatehpur Sikri, if you want, you can go. We charge extra. Then uh, from there you can return to Delhi, or from visiting Taj Mahal Agra Road directly you can come back to Delhi. It takes another three and a half hours to reach back to Delhi. Now uh, we are coming about the uh, part of the cost. How much cost is going? We are just into taxi services, car rental business. 
so we are just giving up the cost of the cab suppose you are uh, one two three or four maximum four passengers then you can hire a sedan cab sedan cab in india we have like swift desires you can just google swift desire so it can accommodate uh, four persons one in the front three in the back and the cost for this is 6500 rupees it's same for our indians and for foreigners also 6500 for a small cab like a swift desire you can hire the cab and uh, uh, parkings you need to pay extra means uh, parking for taj mahal is near about 100 uh, 150 120 rupees and same for this agra fort tolls everything is included if you are returning back in delhi and drop is after 9 pm then driver allows to 200 250 rupees you need to pay extra suppose you have, uh, want to go to fatehpur sikri then you need to pay another 1000 rupees extra this uh, indian rupees and if suppose uh, you are like five or six or uh, you need a bigger cab either you are three two four or maximum up to five if you want a bigger cab then you can hire a Maruti Ertiga which is starting a level uh, for this uh, cab and you get new models Maruti Ertiga fully AC cab like uh, this is Maruti Ertiga which I am sitting inside one person sits uh, beside driver three at the back two at the last it's uh, three uh, three rows in this car including the uh, front us and the center uh, there is AC front also there is AC a fully completed uh, cooling car this is Maruti Ertiga Maruti Suzuki Ertiga you can google it you can have the pictures also Cost for this cab is uh, near about uh, 8,000 to 8,500 rupees. Depends on the season, depends on the bookings. But range is 8,000 to 8,500. Same day, Delhi, Agra, return, Delhi. Parking is the uh, same. And after 9 p.m. driver night, same. And if suppose you want to go to Fatehpur Sikri, then we charge roughly 1,500 to 2,000 rupees extra for going towards Fatehpur Sikri. So this is the cost. And uh, I have given, and it takes three and a half hours for going, three and a half, three and a half hours for returning back. Depends on the traffic. Time can increase, but it's and again while returning back also again refreshment points are same means uh, it's on now on the another side of the highway, so you can stop there and you can have uh, uh, this uh, tea break snacks or uh, you can have everything. So uh, this is the cost. This is the price of the co uh, price of the vehicles and hotels. You need to book yourself, and we don't do hotels. And if you need a guide in Agra, that's the main part. If suppose you are foreigners and you need a guide for this for local history and everything for shopping, also you need a guide. Charges for a guide for foreigners are roughly 1,000 rupees per monument. So, uh, the same, uh, again, the guide will uh, come here. He will uh, greet you. He will do meeting with you. He will go inside with you. The Taj Mahal, he will buy tickets for you. He will do all the arrangements and he will take you inside the Taj Mahal. He will be with you explaining all the history, everything about the monument, uh, Taj Mahal or the Agra Fort. Then after that, if you want uh, lunch, you just tell him your uh, choice of food. Then he will take you towards uh, to, uh, at that restaurant. Then you can have a lunch guide will not have lunch with you he will just take you and he will wait outside then if you want for go, go for shopping like you want to purchase marvel or jewelry or agra means uh, uh, marvel agra is very famous for marvel jewelries and leather so if you want just tell the guide he will take you to dead spots also 1000 rupees per monument for the guide and uh, i have told you our cab services our uh, company name is d transporters sorry i forgot if <laughs> and our numbers are mentioned you can whatsapp your uh, program tour program to us and if suppose you are finalized then you need to book the cab for booking we have some small process you need to send one id proof like a passport or any uh, government authorized id proof and your pickup address like hotel address or flight details anything and after that you need to make a payment so suppose you are coming for for i mean for different country also then also you need to make the payment payment is near about uh, 20 to 30 percent of the agreed amount so we, we will send you account details and uh, you need to make the payments because without payments we don't do bookings uh, it's a main uh, we are very very uh, means clear in that and uh, i have given you all the knowledge all the uh, means uh, things uh, what i know about this place and uh, hope i have uh, cleared some sort of uh, doubts or confusions in your mind but still if you have some doubt if you if you want to ask something then you can just whatsapp to our numbers and uh, you, you can call us also Send your queries, send your doubts. Our emails are also mentioned in the description box and you can just uh, contact us. So thanks, thanks for watching. My name is Vivek and you are watching D-Transporters from New Delhi, India. So hope you like the video and please subscribe to my channel so that in future also if you are planning for different trips you can contact us. We are also do Golden Triangle like Delhi to Jaipur, Jaipur to Agra or Agra to Jaipur or Delhi to Jaipur and turn back or you want to do Rajasthan trip also you can contact us. Thanks, thanks for watching. Namaste India.